It is in honor of Ira that we put together today's event on sports and social policy. It's no secret that we live in challenging times, times of divisiveness and rancor in our public dialogue, our politics, and our communities. Wolverine Women got a chance to go to a talk sponsored by the Ford School of Public Policy on the intersection between sports and society. Afterwards, we talked to some students, former NFL Commissioner Paul Taglubu, former Intern Athletic Director here at Michigan, Jim Hackett, and current Athletic Director, Ward Manuel. You asked a great question about how as a student athlete and a student in Ford, you take your platform and support social change, but also continue the love for your sport and not risk that. What do you think about their responses? Um, I think it's a hard question. Uh, I knew that I would shake the tables when I asked it in the first place, but um, I really enjoyed Ward's response to the question. I actually went up there and thanked him for that because I think, one, all too often you don't hear your AD's opinion, so it was good that he even shared his opinion. But two, I think that I like that he said he supports us, whether we kneel or we don't kneel, but he also said, I would not kneel. So it's kind of he's separating himself from the problem itself because he realizes that it goes like we're more than just athletes. And so I really enjoyed his answer. Uh, the former commissioner's answer, I don't know. I think that because he went higher than just a college, he was a commissioner of the NFL, um, there were more politics involved. So I think he kind of, even though he's no longer the commission, commissioner, he had to answer it in, I guess, a politically correct way. So I think his response was respect, uh, expected. Um, but I mean, I liked it, but I just, I feel like I wanted a little more, especially given his stance on other things and that he's public about. So, but I guess I understood it. As a minority woman, how did you feel about the talk about minority women and their place in sports? And do you think that'll mean something for minority women in sports in the future? Um, I was surprised that uh, Jim Hackett brought it up. I didn't see that coming. Um, I think it's good to know that it's on the radar because I feel like that's something that's not talked about too much. No one really talks about women of color in sports. It's talking about like, okay, the black man, everyone loves sports, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it's good to know that it's on the radar of these people who are, are high up in the sports realm. I think that does give me hope. I don't know how rapid that change would come, but just to know that it's on the radar is not enough, but it's a good start. Do you feel like there should be an intersection between sports and society and sports and politics? Um, well, I think that there's an intersection between my gender and my race and me as an American. So I think as an athlete, I mean, I'm not just an athlete. I get on the track, yes, I have on the block M, but you still see my skin. You can still see that I'm a woman. I'm running in an all-woman race. So I feel like when I can't really separate myself and like who I identify with for myself, I don't really think it makes sense to separate politics and sports. But I do understand what Ward was saying kind of to a certain extent. Or to even what the commission was saying that like you do have to be cognizant of like what you're using and like you don't if you're not going to be able to teach someone or educate people about what you're fighting for there's no reason to galvanize something you don't understand yourself. What is more important if you see the sports business as an actor of change? Do you see it be more important as an actor of change or as a business? Well, I think we can't get away from the fact that the sports have become a big business not just at the professional level but at the collegiate level. On the Mike Commission, that we have a lot of data that you know shows how commercial sports have become. That having been said, I think there's a role for both. There's a role for activism, but I also think that uh, student athletes need to find, need to realize that they can't do everything on their own. And Ward said it. You just can't protest. You got to figure out how to get things done. And there are lots of good organizations already existing now for women and the NAACP Legal Defense Fund. There are lots of organizations, I used to know them better because I was involved with a lot of them, who are already advocating on these issues which you can become part of. And that gives you the expertise that you don't have yourself and it gives you the ability to have a big impact on your own. The other way of putting it is to put someone else's shoes on and walk in their streets and walk in their alleyways and, and really look at the world from the perspective of the other person. Not, not enough of us do that, but if you do do it, you learn a lot and you'll be able to find common ground.